So, Mark Zuckerberg recently came on the Joe Rogan podcast and this is actually the second time that he's come onto the podcast and before diving deep into the video, I just want to bring to attention his new Chad bro look which I'm actually a fan of, lol, which is in direct contrast to his old nerdy techy look that he used to carry and has been carrying for around a century. Anyways, he said during the podcast something along the lines of the code that is written by mid-level software engineers at Meta right now, all of that code will be written by AI in 2025 and in the years going ahead, which apparently caused a lot of stress between the tech folk and in this tech Twitter community, which is now x.com or whatever. So in this video, we are going to discuss exactly this. What does this announcement mean for software engineers? How AI is changing the game and how will our roles evolve? And what exactly do we need to do at this particular point of time? If you're new here, I'm Anadeep and I work as a software engineer, but on this channel, we discuss tech, self-improvement and business. So if any of those sounds interesting, please consider subscribing. Enough of the plug, let's get started. So as far as AI is concerned, we all know that there are tools like ChatGPT, Claude, etc., which are general LLM type tools. And then we have AI code assistants like GitHub Copilot, which apparently Microsoft made public and free for all the people to use in VS Code. I don't know. And then finally, we have proper AI code developers like Devin AI, which are sort of meant to replace software engineers, but not really. Before I get to why this is not true, Let's first look at how AI is changing the game right now. So we all know that AI can already assist us with code generation, debugging, and even architectural designs. We all can agree that with the rise of these tools, it has become easier than ever to write code, faster than ever to debug code, and the barrier to entry to learn something new in your domain or even an entirely different domain has become so low. I mean, something that used to take one week to build, you can probably now build it in four hours with the help of AI. Similarly, in the earlier days, if you had a bug, you would, you know, Google it, like go on to Stack Overflow, surf the answers, try out different solutions, and then fix the bug after a variation of iterations. Now, with the help of AI, this bug fixing time has also been reduced. Another example is if you need to learn something new, AI can help you upskill yourself and faster, right? All of this leads to faster development cycles, which frees us time for us to focus on novel problems. Well, wait, aren't these good things? We are able to write code faster, able to debug code faster, we are able to learn new things and faster, and we finally don't have to, you know, waste our time in fixing that boring bug again and again, something that has already been done by so many people in the past we have collected all that data we have trained an ai model on that data and then now that ai can do that thing for us so now we are finally free to work on our curiosities to focus on the creative outlet side of things and all of this results in the general acceleration of the pace of innovation yes all this is true but a brutal fact is the competition is so much. I mean, you just can't be mediocre to make the cut anymore. This used to be the case maybe in the 2008s, 2010s, maybe in the mid 2010s where, you know, you could just write some code and these big tech companies were on the rise and then they would hire you as an entry level software developer and stuff. But now with the rise of AI, you need to have an edge. When a single person can build and deploy code in a matter of hours, you just can't be the next entry-level front-end software developer, right? This means increased competency for people seeking jobs. On the flip side, this also leaves company with the options to, you know, delegate the coding heavy tasks to AI, which will significantly reduce their costs. And at the end of the day, all of these big tech companies are worried about maximizing their profits. So they will obviously go with the option that costs them less and they will have to pay less software engineers. They will have to pay them less if they chose to go with AI. So is this situation exactly bad or good? And what can we do about that? Well, when Zuckerberg said that most of the code will be written by AI, he does not mean that he will replace software engineers. In fact, he went on to say later in the episode that this AI intervention will lead engineers to work on more creative and deep technical stuff that cannot be automated yet, stuff that has not been solved yet. And hence, those are interesting problems and are more fun to deal with rather than the random bug that keeps on appearing every time you are not able to load the page. Because as I said, that random bug has been solved by so many people. We have all this data, we have trained an AI model onto that data and that AI is now spitting out answers like a pro. So this does not mean that software engineering is going anywhere. In fact, companies will always need software engineers. There are 
newer companies standing up every day and they need software developers front end back end like full stack devops even machine learning engineers data scientists everything that falls under the realm of software engineering it is here to stay as it is and with modified roles even at open ai a friend of mine saw the post of a full stack web developer on open ai's career page now why would a company who's building the first most popular the most bleeding end of tech ai model why will that company have web developer position open at its company portal. This is so because the code that AI generates is not production ready. And even in the future if it is, these big tech companies just can't trust an AI. The risk is just too big. There are so many shareholders and stockholders involved and you need that human intervention. Therefore, software engineering roles as we know them today are here to stay for some time in the future. Having said that, I do believe that software engineering roles will change. As we move towards the end of this decade, they are going to change much significantly. And I said something along the lines of this in one of my previous videos, so let's watch it first. Now, a normal human brain is not designed to remember each and everything in this entire world. It is not designed to memorize each and everything of a particular topic. And that is why the AI will surely outperform us because it is based on all the data that is fed into its memory and its neural nets and stuff. But us humans, we at a particular point of time have only limited memory, but a lot more understanding. As I mentioned, our brains are not designed to hold all this information. In fact, our brains are designed to solve new problems and automate the old boring ones. Once which have already been done by so many people and then so many computers, we can delegate them to AI to perform. And then we can use our limited brain power because we have these limited lives and we have limited brain power. So we can use that to solve newer problems, work on better problems and then solve them and eventually automate them as well so that we can work on even newer problems and get to an even better world. And that is why AI will automate some jobs, but it will create newer jobs and better jobs, jobs that require thinking, creativity, curiosity, and all that stuff. And so if your current career or your studies are based on just rote memorization, I think you're gonna be extinct in the next 15 years. So you better start using your brain, better start developing your brain and developing this meta learning skill, the skill of learning how to learn, of solving problems, because that is exactly what is going to separate you from AI or machines or computer. Now, this AI shift is the most revolutionary in the world and it will allow us to break our barriers and just be limited to our thinking and creativity and stuff. In a world that is becoming more and more like this, it is really, really important to be curious, to be creative, to be proactive. As I mentioned, software engineering roles will emerge to be less coding related and will require more and more critical thinking. NVIDIA CEO recently said that in the future, you will not need to learn to code because English will be the new and the most universal coding language. So rather than being code spitting machines, I think we should aspire to be creative thinkers and problem solvers and systems thinkers because these small little jobs that you know these junior devs do all of that can be done by ai heck zuckerberg says that even mid-level jobs will be done by ai and which will later translate to even senior engineer positions being taken by ai so we as tech people will be managing our own ai stack to build deploy applications and for that you don't necessarily need to know coding you have to have the knowledge of it, but you definitely have to learn to solve problems, to think critically, and to arrive at answers quickly and fast with obviously the help of AI. As I was saying, each one of us will be sort of managers in our own rights, giving instructions to AI to refine whatever it is that we want to build. But that does not mean that my mom who's a doctor or someone who's a construction engineer, who by the way have great proficiency in English language, both these people that I mentioned, these people still won't be able to build and write software because it requires fundamental domain knowledge about software engineering or machine learning or mechanical engineering or electrical engineering. So these jobs are not going anywhere. You still have to have the domain knowledge and you have to have them deeply. You can't have shallow knowledge and you know, expect to make the cut because your job will be to come to solutions rather than you know, tackling those intricate calculations, if that makes sense. Therefore, your job is not going anywhere. However, some roles and responsibilities might shift. To conclude, 
we all will be systems engineers who will be instructing AI to develop a bigger picture in mind. We will be AI engineers tuning the parameters and features of machine learning model that is helping us solve a particular problem so that it can predict better solutions and help us get to the final answer quicker and in the most efficient way. And we will be entrepreneurs building our own product with the help of AI and deploying it and having people to subscribe to our product. All right, so that's it guys. Thank you so much for watching if you have made it this far. Overall, there is no need to do fear mongering when it comes to AI. Having said that, if you need to know the extent to which AIs can think, I actually made a video explaining how they do that and how much they are capable of thinking. Do have a look. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And I will see you in the next one. Peace.